Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bore video. Today's video is about having a first drive with um, Stain Remover Pro from Biso. And uh, in my last video, I uh, tried to explain why do I think I need Stain Eraser Pro uh, while I already got uh, carpet cleaner. If you didn't see that video, card should pop up uh, on top there so check it out and if you did it, see that video and you're still uh, not sure which appliance is good for you you may watch my other Biso videos on the channel and I try to make sure that they will pop up through this video uh, to guide you uh, or to link you there so again why do I want to use Stain Eraser Pro because this carpet is huge but as you can see cute dog and if you miss cute dog it's in the video in the first video about uh, Stan Eraser uh, have a look it's a beautiful beautiful puppy pug and she's so cheeky but she's still learning to do wee wees outside uh, for time being she's as you can see doing wee wees inside so what we'll try to do um, and by the way I didn't use this appliance yet it's totally new uh, what we will try to do is uh, as I speak to you I use it for the first time I may pause video for a couple of times again I'm not at editing my videos so you can see from user experience what I go through and if there's any hesitation what may uh, you need to know before or in the middle using that appliance so what I will do I will fill it up uh, with water and I'll go through the process. So before I start, because it probably will be a little bit noisy, I quickly explain what to do, what not to do. And this is really important for consideration of using this appliance. So there are a couple of labels uh, on this appliance. The first one uh, on top, right on the canister here, it says do not tip it on the side. So this appliance is designed to work either in vertical position or in horizontal position you cannot start using your furniture and other things tipping it on the side and the reason why i'm making this uh, beginning of the video not filled with water i don't want to expand and tilt it uh, by showing you while it's already full so pay attention to labels and instruction it's really important not to clean sideways only horizontal or vertical right the second one is when you finish cleaning, there's a procedure to clean uh, brushes and to empty water tank. So to empty water tank because water will be dirty water will be concentrated here. It's really important to keep it in a vertical position so all the water will fall down and then you just press that green button and it's all unclips nice and easy. And to put it back, it just clips back in with the top. Uh, reservoir here it's a little bit different there's nothing to clip or unclip to fill up you just uh, kind of uh, open it up and uh, and fill it in or if you need to carry it somewhere you just kind of extract it out and as you can see there's an entry with a uh, protecting mechanism there but uh, it's nice and sealed so it should not leak but I don't want to experiment with that so I'll be filling uh, this one it's all installed so when we uh, finish filling it up and by the way you may not see so if you try to do oxy boost there's a water and oxy part here if you uh, try just to do formula it's water and then you add formula to the top spot this is how you fill in and when you will start there's a three buttons here the first one this one is just start what it does, it will start um, uh, just uh, a vacuum. So when you uh, just cleaning, start cleaning the spot, so you don't need the vacuum, vacuum is for later. So you kind of stop the vacuum and start a spray and then brush and then we have a vacuum. So, uh, by the way, uh, I didn't use this one, it's just uh, based on my understanding of instructions. If I don't understand the well, as I use it, I'll stay corrected and I'll show how it's done. The second one is to remember, uh, you've got brush. So when we're brushing, it should go firmly on the floor 
and when we vacuum it, it needs to be tilted a little bit up. And the reason is that because the vacuum part is actually on top here. So when we're brushing, it should be flat parallel on the, to the floor. And we tip it a little bit so the vacuum bit will vacuum that water. So the process is, there's no magic, it will still remain slightly wet or damp when you finish. So the process is, identify the stain, so for example this one, then apply water, spray it with water from the reservoir, uh, pressing the top button, then deploy the brush to brush it through with a vacuum. So you brush it through, so it should kind of flick everything up. And then you tilt it and vacuum it in, and then everything will be vacuumed in that reservoir that you empty. So the idea is you're not like you know if you would wipe with cloths, you're not rubbing it in, you're actually flicking it out, you're deodorizing it, you're debixerializing it, and then you collect the dirt with you. So there's nothing really magical about this appliance. It's just a number of functions together as brushing, spraying, and vacuuming and it's wireless and it's easy to use. So I'll pause the video briefly. I bring all my concentrates, I put water first and then concentrates, and then we'll start cleaning straight away. So I'm not editing this video, it's just uh, pausing so I can get those chemicals in. Okay, so what I did, I fill up with water, as you can see here, in Endeavor to put um, Oxy Boost to the other point, and then when I say formula, on top here, I'll put four more to the top, and when we're done, we'll start cleaning this particular stain. So just be with me. Uh, we start with Oxy first. All right, it is sealed. Okay, it's still going well, and it's still and just uh, to say, everything I'm talking about, if you need any supplies or the device itself i buy stuff from amazon i'll put links um, in the description of this video check this out you don't have to buy there it's just me i do easy click and uh, not click and collect but click and they send it next day to me so i'm the guy that doesn't like uh, going to uh, local shops and fight for uh, parking so um, i just buy stuff on amazon so if you would like uh, quick and easy amazon um, order just click on that link it will take you straight there so oxy boost is done now spot and stain um, oh this still is really well what i'll do i'll quickly stop the video and uh cut it up with a knife because uh, it's almost impossible to peel with the nails one would think it will be little tongue to peel it but no i'll be back in a second all right, I'm back, so I just cut uh, top from there with knife and again adding that formula to the mark that is on top there. Okay, it's all good. So what I put in is a bit of oxy boost, so it uh, oxidizes uh, stain a little bit and relaxes. And then spot clean, that's the chemicals that help to uh, clean and debacterialize it. So this aside, now what I expect to happen, it will be a little bit of noise, so I'll stop probably talking and focus on the stain. Um, I'll start the appliance and I put spray on, which is middle button. And then uh, I rub it with a brush, uh, which is that button, and then use the vacuum to uh, suck it back in. So if it's what I expect, it's what it's going to be. If not, I'll report to you uh, straight after doing this. So let's start and have a look what's, uh, uh, what will happen. Sorry about noise. Appliance is not as uh, too noisy, but still it makes noise because there's a vacuum and brush movement. So as you can see, when you st I'll, I'll start from the beginning. So when you start appliance, it deploys brush straight away. There's no need to use a brush until the patch is actually wet. So what we need to do when you start, stop the brush and then use the spray first. So we're starting it. As you can see, the brush started. We will stop that and use spray. Okay, I'll spray the stain. And now deploy the brush and rub it. Thank you. 
mo Tarwa mo And now I stop the brush and start vacuuming it So I'm stopping the brush and start vacuuming it So you may think that uh, it's not dirty, but that's what come out of the carpet. So that's what I expected. Uh, it's not dirty per se, but because of the it's a dog wee, it may have some bacteria that you don't want on the carpet. So it's just an experiment what to do. So next thing what I'd like to do is uh, start emptying it and report how it's working. So what we'll do is we unclip that reservoir and as you unclip it let me put the plants up all right so that's a good example what not to do so you need to kind of drain a little bit more water and I'll suck what just uh, got out of the appliance so I'll explain what happened in a second All right, so when appliance stop working, uh, there's a water accumulates there. And as I remove reservoir, so, sorry, there's a water accumulates there. As you remove reservoir, it's got out. So I needed to tip it down to get it out. And now I'm ready to open it. So I open it. So that's uh, dirty water that left in there. So just try to park appliance here. All right. So to empty dirty water, there's a nice rubber, kind of it's rubber seal. You peel it out and you empty it. Done. Because we didn't use much of the brush, there's no need to clean brush. But I'll come back and I'll show you. Actually, I'll do it now. Uh, I'll put a uh, reservoir back in. Nice and easy. And to clean brush, we we'll just unhook it from the bottom. Okay the cover comes out and then we'll pull the brush and you either if you got pet hair you kind of clean it around and if you don't have pet uh, pet hair just you may um, wash it under water and check compartment here there's nothing stuck inside and that's the end of cleaning so i think it's a very nice and neat appliance and same again you close it back and clip that's it appliance is clean so from a maintenance perspective it's really nice and easy. Um, first impressions, I think it's good. I'll wait until this patch will dry and then uh, uh, the stain should be gone. It's on the way way, so it's not a big deal. Um, and if it's not gone, I try uh, a little bit harder to go with it or may use bigger plants. And if it's not good, I'll create another video to report uh, if I think the device is not working as advertised, but I don't think it will be any problem because of the brush scrubbing effect and solution that was sprayed. Uh, that's the first, I guess, uh, go for this appliance. If you got any questions or um, I did not cover something, please feel free to put comments down below. Again, if you like this video or any other videos of my channel, as a token of appreciation, please subscribe, like, uh, I like this video, and it will help me to create any further videos uh, in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.